the second design of my DIY recliner workstation project. My goal is to create a compact, easy to use package to work comfortably at home. Three things. First of all, it's more of a universal fit, so it does not require an expensive chair to use. Second, I'm using off the shelf products so you can easily build something like this at home. You will find a very detailed build tutorial later in this video. Third, it addressed several issues in the previous gen. So I'm no longer locked in and can easily move out and into the workstation without messing up the setup. It runs on a heavy power station, so it's completely wireless. I can also plug it in and use it at the same time or charge it off solar panel. A quick recap. This was the first gen that's supposed to go on to the armrest. And as I recline, I can still work on my laptop with a portable monitor. And it requires massive armrests to be able to securely use this setup. And that approach is obviously much better. Not only I have access to large monitors, everything is highly adjustable. I get all the benefits of using monitor arms, like rotating the screen 90 degrees when I'm reading a long document or doing text editing. Before diving into details of this build, I'd like to talk about today's sponsor, Sihu Office Chair. Technically, you can use any chair that reclines with this setup, but I'm not sure if you noticed. If the armrest reclines or moves with the back, if they are in sync, then you have a much better experience because the armrests are supporting the forearm always in the same angle. Therefore, the typing experience will be very consistent. Add a stool for footrest. Pull the keyboard close. Adjust the uh, swivel angle of the arm. So my hands are always supported. Also extends, retracts. There's no button to change the height. I simply pull to adjust the height. Once it reaches the highest point, it drops all the way down. The lumbar support design is very interesting. They're spring-loaded, which means they will automatically adjust to the shape of my back and always provide sufficient support. Doesn't matter the position I'm in. If you are a tall person, you will love this feature. Pull this lever. The sitting depth can be increased. Slides forward to provide more support for the leg and it retracts, spring-loaded again. There are two recline positions, about halfway, push in, lock it, it will not bounce back. Pull out, keep reclining, lock it, and this is fully reclined position. Unlock it, it still will not bounce back, have to depress it a little bit, to unlock, then it will disengage. Lock it, will not be able to recline. Of course, basic feature like height adjustment is there. The headrest is integrated into the back support, which follows the same principle for adjustments. Gradually increase the height, stays there, pulls all the way up, drops down. To the lowest point. I think this is a pretty clever way of doing it without adding extra components and avoid complexity. It looks expensive, but it's actually quite affordable. I'll leave a link down below. The whole setup is based on an IKEA card, which is very easy to get and super affordable. Starting from the bottom, I have an EcoFlow Delta Mini, which is providing AC power to the monitor and I'm using its power delivery USB-C port to power my laptop using a USB-C hub here. The HDMI output goes into the monitor 4K 27-inch LG monitor. The whole setup can be folded 
into a much smaller package. The choice of the monitor arm is also very important. You want it to be articulate and easy to move around. I built this Apple trackpad and keyboard tray specifically for this design with the VESA mounting plate down there. So I can easily pop it in or create another accessory to accommodate maybe mouse application. Same goes here. I can remove the whole laptop setup. I used wood blocks as spacers for the monitor clamps for both monitors. You can use books and it should be able to um, accomplish the same thing. So this monitor arm is a bit special. It comes with two of these stoppers, which I'm not using, but if it slides down too much all the time, if it is too loose, you can totally put one here and uh, increase the height of the arms. And I, have to, I had to use the maximum clamping um, setting here, but two screws should be enough. This is just enough clearance to put the battery bank inside. Nice cable management from this monitor arm. Additionally, I put a MagSafe charger. Uh, this is more of a car mount from ESR. I attached another uh, car mount USB-C. So it's sitting on a ball head. So I can mount my phone here. Lockable casters. This is an upgrade I did. After testing four or five monitor mounts, luckily their maximum clamping capacity is the same as the height of, of the edge of the IKEA cart. The most difficult part of this build is to figure out a way to cut a hole into the top tier of the cart. I'm using a DeWalt cutoff wheel. It will take a long time if you use a drill. I did a quick dry fit of the center post of the monitor arm and it works great. It's a very tight fit. For this specific model I'm using, I had to put in the two screws after the center post has been installed. It's a little bit taller than the cart but I may cut it off in the future if I'm not using the top part. Of course, the whole clamp needs to be fully supported. Lockable casters are preferred since I want it to be stationary when I'm using it. Those new casters I'm using are a bit smaller than the original. I cut off a few pieces of scrap wood to be the center support for the clamps. But again, you don't have to do this. You can totally use books. I installed the laptop tray. At this point, it's usable as is if you are only using laptops. Don't have to use large monitors. In order to lower the center of gravity and provide power supply, I put in an EcoFlow Delta Mini power station, which is the largest battery bank I was able to find that would fit the IKEA cart. I used a lightweight pine board for the keyboard tray build so it does not get too heavy with the Magic Keyboard and Trackpad from Apple. You can probably buy this from Amazon, but I decided to build one myself using the Dewalt router. It turned out to be great and a very tight fit held down by friction. Then I secured the VESA mounting metal plate to the back of the keyboard tray. I put a single monitor mount arm on top and this is a quick overview of how everything comes together with the cable management. There are only three cables in this build. Power cord for the LG monitor, HDMI for video signal to the monitor, USB-C to USB-C cable to provide power, to the laptop. A 32 inch or even 34 inch curved monitor is possible as the single monitor arm can handle a maximum of 22 pounds. Articulating arms. This is perfect. Goes pretty low, high, 
90 degrees. Thank you very much for watching. Happy building.